Holy ravioli, I am one sleepy chef. Time to get home and catch some ziti's. Mamma mia. I'm gonna sleep like a little lamb after making that vegetable soup all day. Time to dream of sugar plums and souffles and... <laughs> what? I just... I just went to... Pettuccine Alfredo, do I have to go to work today? Yeah. <laughs> um, who are you? Name's Loafer. Friends call me Loaf. How'd you get inside my house? Chill, fam. You're letting off Mondo stress vibes. Mamma mia. I need to start getting better sleep. Why don't you start now, muchacho? Just stay home. Take some naps. Watch some flicks. You feel me, man? But my vegetable soup, it's at the restaurant cooking. I, I need to go check on it. I mean, the, the celery, the, the beefsteak, it will burn. Come on, dude. Don't cook the vegetable. Be the vegetable. Be the vegetable? Be the vegetable. Hmm. I guess I could use a day off. That's the spirit, brother. Flaming hot. Hey, Kate, check it out. Just call me Hacky Mac. I found several articles online about the Icky Six, 12 and a half to be exact. One of them was just a Fuzzbeat quiz called, Which Icky Six Monster Are You? Oh, I think I took that quiz yesterday. I think I was the green one. It says here that the last time the Icky Six were loose, they almost destroyed a whole city in Ohio, Buttercup, just south of Toledo. What happened? The mayor of Buttercup said it was like they put an evil spell on the whole town. It was in chaos. Fires burning, crime soaring, people fighting, even the police and firefighters. Yikes, how are they stopped? Buttercup Sheriff Rosie Doe managed to break from the spell and catch all six villains in some big trap. Wow, that's crazy. How did she break free from the spell? The article doesn't specify. My concern is how the Icky Six keep breaking out of jail. Great question. If I ever wanted to break out of jail, but I'd never be in jail, I'd probably just karate chop off the locks. Like, hi -ya! You all right there, Mac? <laughs> One second. Little heroes, this is Lieutenant Kate. Roger that, we're on it. That was Mayor Mister. There's a kitchen fire at his brother's restaurant downtown. Chef Mister's restaurant? That's the one, let's roll out. Oh, he makes the best pizza. Can we get some? Wait, I mean like after the fire. Chef Mister, his soup is done. Where is Chef Mister? Alright, chefs, it's almost time for round one, but first, your secret ingredient. Oh. That dude kinda looks like the mayor. Round one is a ding 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 ding. Uh oh, ding 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 ding. I don't really see it. It's unlocked. Chef? Oh, hey, little dudes. 
Want some flaming hots? No thanks. We've had enough flaming hots for one day. Huh? Do you have any clue what's going on? Your restaurant was on fire this morning. Fire? Broccolini, fettuccine, my vegetable soup. Why didn't you come into your restaurant today? Uh... You're tired. I, uh, I, I was tired. So you left the crock pot boiling all day? Chef, you know better than that. It's not my fault. Uh, he told me to be a vegetable. Your couch? Uh, no, that guy. He, it, was his, it was his idea for me to skip work. Uh, yeah. Uh, Kate, can I talk to you for a second? Okay, I honestly think Chef is out of his mind. No, I just don't think that's it. It just smells like the work of the Icky Six to me. <laughs> I don't smell anything. <laughs> Spaghetti. Chef, could you leave your crock pot on at your restaurant? Yes, but. Uh, Were you supposed to be at your restaurant this morning? I, I, I suppose, but. Uh, and but, you decided um, to stay home anyway. Tell her your dog ate your homework or something. What? That's the laziest excuse I've. Fatty spaghetti. It's all my fault. I'm sorry, little heroes. I. If I would have went to work this morning like I was supposed to, this this fire never would have happened. I take full responsibility. Loafer! Oh, hey dudes. Want some flaming hots? This is super not chill, you guys. Thank you, little heroes, for saving my restaurant and saving me from loafer, and saving me from myself. To thank you, I would like to serve you one of my finest dishes. Duck confit? Braised pork shoulder? Homemade a cheese pizza! <laughs> <laughs>